Hello, welcome back to Bitcoin Beach. Wait for the draw. Hope you're all having a fantastic day here. My name is Hamilton. I'm going to be walking you through the Bitcoin markets today. So strap in, strap on, because we're going to learn a hell of a lot here. Okay, we're here to learn. We're not here to, to talk about Bitcoin going to the moon or to the ground. We're here to make money trading it. Okay, that's the facts here. That's what we're doing. Right, so with that out of the way, we're going to be talking about the short term for Bitcoin, the mid term for Bitcoin, as you can see, and the long term for Bitcoin and the plan to, uh, to basically... Whatever happens here, right? If, if we find a top here, we're going to be able to trade this as it comes down. If we, if we do get into our next section, we're going to be banging it and making money anyway in these sections. And wherever we do go sideways, whether it is here, right? Whether it is here or whether it is here, we're still going to make money trading those ranges, right? And there's going to be serious money to be made there. So it's okay. Don't worry. It's all good here, right? That's the kind of value I want to bring to you in this video anyway, right? So without further ado, what has happened here in the Bitcoin charts? Well, we have had, as we saw in the intro, many memes, okay, but we have had uh, a bit of a sprinkle of girth towards the upside here. And when I say girth, I'm not talking about some, some happy meal girth here, okay? I'm talking about big, beefy, chicken McNugget girth all over you here. Just girthy gains towards the upside. And to uh, just to clarify the trade that we have been in as well here in terms of what happened uh, here we got in a trade uh, for a long here through the breakout machine um, uh, at 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. I think it was. No, oh, it was 6 a.m. actually. Yeah, 6 a.m. Uh, on November 16th, and we rode that all the way to the top. Well, not all the way to the top, but uh, it did close the trade this morning when we had this girthy pullback from 18.3k. Just serious, ridiculous, megalodonithic pullback there. But no follow through to the downside. And we've seen this quite a lot here in Bitcoin. Where we're having these big dumps here. But they're just almost instantly getting bought up. You can see here. Uh, very bearish candles coming through. Very engulfy, I would say. But no follow through. Just complete recoveries every single time. Um, so this is something that Bitcoin has been doing a lot. Uh, and you can't even see it here. Uh, I would say momentum is dwindling a bit. We are at this point where we haven't reached this, this high. Uh, in a very long time, okay? Uh, multiple years at this point. So, uh, it would make sense to have some kind of confusion around this area, whether we do curl over, come down, whether we do claim this again, make another ascending triangle here for the mil millionth time here, make a measure move, and then bang it towards the upside here. But we're going to be talking about that in predictions. So, without further ado, what are the short-term predictions here for old Bitty? Okay, um, well... Considering we played out this measure move on the wedge that we talked about, right? Uh, the measure move being from one side to the other, with the most recent wave being the most applicable wave here. So some people will draw this from one side to the other like this, right? Uh, which isn't necessarily wrong, but I've just found in Bitcoin land that uh, it's better to go with the last wave because that's more likely to be repeated, right? Um, so we can see here with that measure move played out pretty much to a T here. I didn't actually trade this breakout based on the fact that this retest was dodgy. It looked bad, okay? Um, even though we did come up and bang this up here and respect the moving averages and really just throw it up to the sky, you can see here all the way, very wicky, very trappy, not what we like to see here. Okay, I know a lot of people that took this trade and made seriously girthy gains, so congratulations to those people. But uh, in my case here, guys, I wasn't interested. I even let you guys know in the Telegram chat that this doesn't feel right, doesn't look right. Uh, very manipulated kind of stuff here, and I'm, I, I wasn't really happy with the trade. Yes, we did play out the measure move. Yes, we banged it up to 18k, okay, but... In this case, I wasn't happy with the trade, and I'll stand by that. I would rather be wrong and not lose money here, because we're not shorting on a leverage, right? So I'd, be, I'd rather be wrong and not lose money than be wrong and lose a hell of a lot of money on a leverage, right? So if I had long tier and we just dump off a cliff again, uh, then uh, I would obviously lose money there. But if I leave this trade knowing that it looks unhealthy, knowing that it doesn't look fantastic here, then... Uh, I'm not actually losing any money, right? My fiat stays the same. I can wait for a better opportunity here um, for this greater pullback when it does happen here. When we do get down to these kind of 
12k to 14k area on this massive pullback that we're expecting at some point here, <laughs> if it ever does. Uh, I, I, I do expect it to do that, guys, um, eventually. And obviously, the more we go up here, the more parabolic we get, the more likely we are to dump and have big percentage, uh, not well, gains, I guess, when we buy it up again, right? Uh, so my main point here being that it's okay to miss a trade uh, and then just wait for this with a lower entry, just having fun with it, watching it go up. And obviously we are hodling some of this as well uh, with a small amount of my portfolio. So it's okay if it goes up or down, it's it's all good, right? Um, the main point here is, yes, breakout machine, making girthy gains, fantastic stuff here. Uh, just proving that it is, it is good over a long period of time, okay? We're going to show you the profit chart here. Uh, I'm actually going to get, where is my logo? Get that off the screen real quick. Get out of here. Get, get out of here. Uh, let's see. Is that the right thing? No. <laughs> Sorry, this is a, uh, let me, let me get this right. And then we'll talk about the, uh, the other stuff that can come in here. So this is the profit chart. You can see here. Um, this here was the March, well, actually, no, this here was like just before March. And then we drew down like 60 to 70% here. We came all the way up slowly over time, just being drawn down for a long long time and then I've been saying all year guys we just need that string of trades uh, the girthy trades here to come through and it's irreversible gains we did this exact same pattern here uh, down uh, at these lower areas as well you just can't see it because it's made so much in terms of percentage that this line is flatter right uh, but it did exactly the same here in the last kind of cycle around that area so uh, with us coming into a new bullish cycle here it's actually spitting out more profit than I would expect it to so it's it's one of those times where it's like okay Okay, it's, it's made a, we'd have to lose like 12 trades in a row or something to, to even break even uh, back to, to kind of a break even point, right? Um, so for now, we're, we're kind of sat irreversibly in profit, I would say. Uh, so that's good, right? That's a, the that's a strategy I have faith in. I've programmed it myself. It's, it works, right? And I'm happy to kind of boast that and show that off, right? Um, because it's my baby. It is at the end of the day. So, uh, yeah, in terms of predictions here, though, what can we see in terms of patterns? So we're going to get rid of this after just kind of showing you guys what's happened there on a bit more in-depth scale here. And uh, we're going to zoom in on this and just see, right? Uh, I've Also, people that have been in the webinar here, guys, last week said they have been making some girthy trades here off of this, uh, off of these moving averages that we talk about here uh, in, in the webinar, right? So, fantastic stuff here. If you are interested in learning that strategy, Webinars tonight, it's completely for free. Sign up, bitcoinbeats.net, okay? Just type your email in, you'll get free access to the webinar. It's coming in around 7 p.m. tonight on the webinar Wednesday. So yeah, feel free to, to, to join that, right? Reserve your seat. Without further ado though, let's talk about some patterns here. Let's talk about some patterns here. What have we got? Potential ascending triangle here, measure move. <laughs> Just look at this, what is that? Come on, let's do this right, let's do this right, okay? Let's do this right. It doesn't matter. We're making money, okay? <laughs> uh, so you can talk about this like this, but um, it really depends on what happens here, right? Uh, if, if we do get to the top side of this and we find some resistance, this will still go down as an ascending triangle. Um, it's just weird because we haven't actually touched this top side, so it's it's a tough one. It might be better to go down to a lower time frame here and just look for that ascending triangle a bit better, something like this, yeah. So 15 minutes, the show's a lot better on, as you can see, um, and, and that way we can actually plot a measure move based on going down to the 15 minute. I'm not saying to trade the 15 minute, but uh, if you think something looks like it's in a bullish posture like this, but you can't find that, that, uh, that test here on the top side of this, then it's sometimes better to go down to a lower time frame just to find that measure move, right? I just deleted those. <laughs> Let me get those back, there we go. Nice, yeah, it's just better to find that measure move. So with this measure move, what can we see here? One side to the other, boom, okay. Uh, and the measure move for that would put us at 18.6 here, which would be interesting to say the least to get up there. Um, we'll see if this does play out. I wanna say this looks weak, but it doesn't <laughs> still look strong here, guys. Um, and I just want this pullback so much, so bad at this point, right? Um, but it's okay, because we've made money on the way up. We've made money trading. Okay, we went for that pullback, and then once we get that pullback, we're going to be banging it in, making the money, staying patient here in this area. Maybe we'll take a few scalp trades uh, on the way up here if we do continue towards the upside. But the main reason I'm so cautious around this area, guys, is essentially because we've been going up for so long with no real pullback here. This, th this you could call a pullback, but it's not a pullback uh, in, on the greater scale, right? If we're on like a weekly or something, uh, we'll, we'll see here that, <laughs> I mean, look at this thing. 
Like, where is the pullback? There is no pullback here, right? So uh, essentially what we're looking for here is a bigger pullback and this has just gone up. It's gone to the stratosphere. I don't know what to tell you guys. Uh, we should have pulled back something like this like we had at 12k, something like this like we had at, uh, at 9k here, right? Uh, and, and continued that kind of pattern coming forward. But no, we've just gone straight up with no real pullback at all, right? If we go back to an hourly here, you can see it's pulled back it's gradually, I guess, on on, a, on some some time frames here, but really, guys, it's it's just not stopping, and it's scary. It's actually scary. I feel like as soon as we long here and we get in a big long, it's just gonna dump all over us. But we are still gonna be playing this level by level. Uh, there is no lack of clarity here in this market. It will do what it has to do, and we will trade it if it looks healthy. Right now, the reason why I'm not trading this is because of what I just showed you on the weekly, right? The fact that we've gone up so steeply here means that we can get rug pulled very, very easily, okay? Grayscale are just sat there with their finger on that red button to rug pull us. I know they are. <laughs> I know they are. And what am I going to be doing here as a professional expert trader here in my field? I'm going to be essentially waiting for that pullback wherever it leads us to um, and at the bottom of that pullback as momentum turns around as we start breaking big trend lines we're gonna get in along we're gonna bang it up we're gonna make the girthy gains here and then we're gonna roll around in dollar bills that's that's it that's that's the plan here okay that's <laughs> that's what we're doing yeah but that, that uh, yeah looking at this ascending triangle as we talked about in the 15 minute uh, if we break this towards the upside the measure move is up to 18.6 if we break it towards the downside which it does look a little bit more likely it's like it's gonna do this uh, as of right now we're talking about a potential back down to oh 17.9 okay 17.9 is, is a bearish scenario now apparently weird weird for Bitcoin <laughs> I mean, I've been trading this thing from like 2k up to 20k, down to 3k, down to 14k, like, this thing is crazy. Now we're back up to 18k again. I don't, I wasn't expecting this for like a year, but here we are. We are just going to be trading this nonetheless here. Again, making the money. It's not about whether Bitcoin goes to 100k or if it goes to 1k, as I say, right, guys? It's about trading it. It's about trading the swings. It's about uh, getting the momentum, using professional technical analysis techniques to make money in these markets, and that's what it's all about here. So, uh, without further ado, moving on to the midterm here after a, a girthy 12-minute rant here, but I do want to update you guys and just kind of feed you the excitement for Bitcoin that I have right now, because I do have excitement for it. I am bullish on the asset, uh, but it doesn't just mean 100x long every day, okay? Even though, <laughs> even though, guys, I mean, if you're, if you're 100x long here, I mean... Pfft, Ridiculous gains, okay? Ridiculous. But uh, I would never advise to do that, guys. I would never, ever, ever advise to do that. Uh, one thing I do want to say here, guys, this measure move played out as well on the four hour, our bigger channel here. And the way you measure out that measure move here, guys, just to, to really show you that the noobs how to learn this basically, one side to the other, the most recent wave as we can see. So that wave would be from 10.5 all the way up to 14K. Boom! Big bap over there. Measure move complete, right? So I would be expecting a pullback around here. I'm going to say it again. I expect a pullback around here. Just like we've been expecting a pullback at 14k, expecting a pullback at 17k, expecting a pullback here, right? Um, and it's okay to be wrong with this, okay? This has been going up a lot, but when it goes down, it is definitely going to go down a lot, okay? And wherever this lands, we are going to be buying it, as we said. So, guys, it's okay to, to, to not be long, okay? It's okay to not be long. It's also okay to just be sat in cash, okay? You don't need to be leveraged short, and I would never advise leveraging shorting here, but I am expecting a pullback, and I am 1x short technically in fiat, right? Um, and that might sound barbaric, because we have been going up forever, but uh, something like this, it's okay to just wait for this to come down. Even if we come down to 16.7 and we see a nice long there, then that's fine, right? We can take that long, or we just retest this channel one more time at 14.6, that's okay as well. And you've got to remember, guys, that's not even that big of a movement here down to 14.6. It's like just under 20%. Uh, that's kind of what we're looking for as well here. It would come down to the 200 EMA here on a two hour as well. Why is this thing? Hang on. There we go. Better, 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 better. Just behind the scenes, technical difficulties there. Right. Moving on to the long term here. The plan here. What is the plan? Coming forward, coming through, making the girthy gains up into this area. This is something very, very important. This is probably the most important part of the video. So uh, strap in, strap on, get ready, because we are going to talk about this in depth now, okay? First of all, 
First of all, bull market barrier, you know the deal with that, okay? If we're above it, we're in a bull market, we're below it, we're in a bear market, okay? Do expect to test that somewhere around here, 14, 13, 12K, that area if we were to dump today, okay? That's out the way, done, okay? Hash ribbons, on the other hand, still very, 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 very bearish, except uh, Bitcoin has just been going up this whole this whole uh, bearish time, right? So, uh, again, just being bought off the markets by grayscale, uh, nothing we can really do about that. And, uh, yeah, as this does turn long again, maybe we will continue up or maybe we'll get the girthy pullback that we're expecting who knows but the main point here is i get rid of that and we just make things a bit easier to see here is where can we expect the pullback here if we're looking at these box areas okay so what we're going to do here actually is get the blue boxes uh, and you guys can do this on your chart as well if you have the blue boxes indicator we can get this uh we're actually going to get that one up and we're just going to see what these three zones are so we've got from this to this we got this to this and this to this this three zones as you can see uh, pretty obvious stuff there uh, what what have we done in the past in this this middle box zone because this is an important zone to say the least okay when we are in there it's a little bit more random it's a little bit more toppy as you can see uh, and uh, it's it's one of those pivotal areas for Bitcoin where we are just gonna bang it in a direction or have the, the massive pullbacks or something just usually coming out of this this middle zone here coming through as you can see uh, a complete collapse after we lose this zone there um, after we lose this zone here, big collapse as well. So really, what we're looking at here, if we do get, if we do find a top in this in the middle of this zone, somewhere between here and 20k, as we can expect, uh, really, it's when we lose this blue box zone is is where I'm going to be looking for for the big big pullback here. Okay, so if we do come down here at some point uh, and we do lose this blue box area, it seems as though in the past here, once we've lost this blue box area, uh, we do just catastrophically dump off a cliff in a big megalodonithic fashion here, right? Uh, and if you're wondering what a big megalodonithic fashion is, it's basically Big Meg here showing her face, okay? Uh, I just realized that you guys can't really see the screen that well. Is that, did I mess that up? Did I move my, uh, I think I moved that thing the whole time. Have I been showing you guys the wrong stuff? Oh no, we're good, we're good. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna change this back. I do apologize, guys. I might even record the video again. Uh, now nah, we'll leave it, we'll leave it here. Just get that ready, boom, there we go. That's much better. Okay, and then we're gonna get these, put these back up here, bear with me a second, guys. Again, webinar this Wednesday, if you do, this Wednesday is tonight, <laughs> if you do want to learn how to make 100% ROI per month with Bitcoin, this very simple free strategy that I'm gonna provide you, okay? Um, but yeah, my main point here is, we lose this, uh, this this zone and we do just start falling off a cliff right so once we lose this blue box zone okay so uncertainty in this area losing it and then just a gradual decrease with uh, aggressiveness right that's the march crash but you can see exactly the same thing here right uh, uncertainty in this area a big area for uncertainty with bitcoin okay if we don't get over this top line then uh, it's it's usually a rejection right and if we do get over it, uh, we find support on it, and then we bounce off of it towards the upside, right? So if we do find support on this top side, uh, and this top side being right now at exactly, uh, well, 19.6 if we were to hit it today, which is pretty, I mean, that's exactly where our top was anyway. So uh, yeah, interesting stuff as well. But uh, if we were to lose the bottom side of this blue box zone here, coming in around uh, 16.4 here right now, if we were to just to lose that blue box completely, uh, that's gonna be the sign for me in which we should be essentially uh, waiting to see where that turns around, uh, wherever wherever we hit and where that pullback is going to get to, right? Um, again, weird in this zone, uncertain, but we did just smash through this uh, at the end of the day anyway, right? Um, so yeah, again, above this area, extremely bullish, below that area, uh, extremely bearish, right? So we're kind of in this middle zone, this kind of pivotal area for Bitcoin. Again, just to really clarify that, if we get up here, extremely bullish, I would expect to go higher, okay? If we get below here, extremely bearish, I would expect to come down, maybe even test 12K again, okay? Maybe even that low, right? Um, yeah, just to clarify that again, above this is okay, below, uh, breaking through, uncertain area, breaking through, lose it, retest it, even more downside towards this bottom side again, right? Uh, that's the 6k drop there. Uh, oh, we don't have uh, we don't have enough data because we're on Binance. Let me just get Bitstamp up for you guys and we'll resume the party. We'll resume the party here. Oh yes, righto, righto, right in the money. Okay, so this is what I want to talk about next, okay? So if we do get our blue box uh, around the blue boxes here and we just take a look 
at where we've got to in the past here. So this is our last beginnings of our, our bull run here from 400 bucks, right? You, you know that, uh, you could call this a bull run, okay, and then a bear market, uh, whatever you wanna call this, but I call this entire thing, I call basically this section is a transition into a bull market, okay? Um, other people will call this a bull market and a bear market in itself. I think this isn't enough time for that to happen. Uh, we're talking about a bull market, we're talking years, multiple years here, right? Um, Bitcoin's case, more like a year, right? So uh, with this, we can see coming through, uh, this ran all the way up to 20K and didn't lose this, uh, this uh, bull market barrier. I think I called this the blue box earlier, but it's the bull market barrier, right? Uh, so if we're above this, fantastic, right? Do I still expect to test down or wick down like this? Absolutely, completely, yes. Like, uh, I would not put that, that past Bitcoin at all, right? Uh, we can see we did it here on the way up as well. Um, but typically right now, if we're, if we're looking at these three zones as we just talked about, right? If we're looking at these three zones, um, <coughs> we are into this zone here. And, we're up, and this yellow line, you can see the middle line here has been tapped. And if we go all the way up to Bitcoin right now, uh, ba-boom, yeah, there we go. Where are we right now, guys? In the middle line, around that area. We did tap one higher, so potential to continue this. Potential to just smash through, really, but uh, again, because of this middle, middle line here, uh, this is where we were at before, at the beginnings of our last bull run from 400 bucks up, right? That's the last time we crossed over our, our bull market barrier, okay? So you can see here, a similar scenario happened. We cross over, or sorry, we cross over here, we retest, we mess around it, we get transition, we bang it through, okay? We get our first wave up, and then around this blue, around this this kind of section, we should top out, should top out here, okay? Uh, if we do continue, not a problem, okay? We'll play it level by level, we'll get it done, okay? But I am still expecting, and this is why I didn't take this trade here as well, right? I was ex I was gonna take the trade, but at the end of the day, it didn't look healthy, as I said at the start of this video. I'm not gonna take something that looks unhealthy, it just doesn't make sense to do that, right? Um, so yeah, if we do get this big girthy dump, as Bitcoin is just dumping off a cliff right now. <laughs> look at that, great. Uh, it will get saved, and then it will just come all the way back up here, probably. But um, we'll see, <laughs> we'll see, don't trade that. Um, but my main point here, just on the technical analysis perspective, you can see we're in the middle of this uh, this section, right? We go back down into uh, our, our the last time we were in this section here, coming out, crossing over this same kind of kind of fractal thing going on, right? Uh, we top out around that area. We come back down, ridiculous dump here, all the way down, all the way down to uh, this the bottom side of this blue box zone. Okay, then we. Uh, then we go sideways in between this, which I would expect to happen actually. Um, I don't expect us to just completely dump off a cliff. I do expect us to be held up uh, along the way and then uh, continue down and then test that bull market barrier, okay? Uh, so I do expect something like this to be happening. Uh, very, very uh, like probable to come into fruition here if I was to give this uh, a kind of rating, right? Um, with that being said, we can look for buys around this blue box zone. We can look for buys around this bull market barrier, right? And with that, uh, if we do go sideways and trade a zone like this and gradually go up here over kind of September, I would expect this to, to, to happen, right? Um, it's okay because we can trade this up. You can see lots and lots of sideways action over the next year before really initiating that big run up, okay? So with this big run up, if we do just, <coughs> if we do just forward this through, um, we can see here that, yeah, around here makes sense to top out, okay? Uh, it also makes sense for us to potentially come higher than this. So, again, we're going to be playing this level by level. Uh, I, I really, before I take any big trades here, I am waiting for a pullback, okay? I'm either waiting to get into this zone and maintain on it, uh, or I'm waiting for a pullback, okay? Um, and and essentially just, just longing the blue box around here, right? or uh, longing down here in this bull market barrier area, right? And if that does happen, and if it does play out similarly, okay, and this is where, <laughs> this is where I'm gonna make a, a bearish thumbnail just to make everyone uh, just rage, I guess, <laughs> the, 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 the troll of YouTube here, right? So let's say we top out here, okay? Let's say, and I always say, I always do this, right? I always make a bearish thumbnail when I talk completely bullish for the whole video, and I only talk bearish at the end. <laughs> so that's just me, okay? Um, so. Yeah, something like this, and then coming down, and then a slow grind up here would really frustrate everyone here in these markets. Everyone would get so frustrated if this was the case. Um, 
But again, guys, this is actually a very probable scenario that I do see coming to fruition if uh, they stop buying around here, if they do take profit at some point here. It's okay for Grayscale to buy this up, but if no one's taking profit, I mean, they're not going to make money, okay? Eventually, everyone else is just going to be taking profit. Um, and, uh, and they're not going to be making as much money as they should, right? So I would expect to top out at some point. They have to bring this down at some point. Otherwise, uh, these, these people that have been 100xing all the way up here and not getting stopped out or liquidated, they're just making ridiculous money, right? That can't be, that's not okay for these bear, for these whales, okay? It's not okay for them. They need to uh, absorb all that money. So this is a scenario I see potentially coming into fruition. And if that does happen here, girthy gains all the way up, okay, uh, once we do get into this entry, and uh, it might feel like we've missed an entry here, guys, but really, I mean, where were we going to enter? Here, okay, we, we're talking about potential, I mean, let's say we come down here, right, on an extreme ex scenario, and we don't dump, okay, and then we do come down, we've missed out on 20% here, right, so 20% here, if we do come down and test this over the next few months, not a problem, I'm not worried, okay, that fear of missing out isn't a problem when you're an expert trader, okay, it's really not, it's really not because we know here that Bitcoin loves to go sideways here. So if we're if we're going sideways like this for even two or three months here, we're talking about one wave here. Boom. Done. OK, that's that's that loss. Or not even a loss here. That's that uh, missing out fear of missing out on buying this Bitcoin here completely negated in like a month. Right. Um, and again, the more this goes up the more likely we are to do that, right? We've seen in the past here that after big moves, we do just go sideways and make triangles, okay? Oh, that's, I've just dragged these around so much, I gotta re redraw them. But you can see here, right? Parabolic run up to 14K, big bounces and sideways action, right? So again, if you missed this run up here, uh, and that's 80%, but I mean, if you missed that run up here, right? And then we're going sideways here, we're talking about 40% here from top to bottom, and I'm drawing this roughly here. And then if you play this wave again here, 30%, right? And then you play this wave again here, 15%, okay? So we're talking about making that back easily here, and then with more sideways action here on the downside, and then just ranging around this area, there's more money to be made, okay? So really, guys, it's okay to, to be a bit more cautious in these areas, especially when we're topping out. When we do get that big pullback and we do start making a big triangle of some sort here, guys, then, yeah, it makes sense to be trading the range and making back what it feels like we may have missed here, okay? And again, we have been in longs on the way up here, but it, it's just not very natural of a way to go up. Uh, this has just been grayscale buying up, unfortunately, and we haven't had a healthy pullback to trade. So when that does happen, and when they do take profit here and bring this down, uh, and then just play out some kind of sideways consolidation, because that's what whales do, okay? Even if you are grayscale and you're manipulating all the stocks in the world here, guys, you're still making them go sideways. Like, they're, they're the people that made this game, okay? So they're going to play this game like that and still trap the dumb money, right? We're not the dumb money. We're the, we're the, we're the people that take the breadcrumbs off the whales. But for us, those bread, breadcrumbs are, are huge because we're like, I don't know. I, don't, I can't think of the analogy of what we are, but... Um, those breadcrumbs are huge to us, right? Think about that film like War Dogs, right? People selling big, big uh, military contracts to each other, right? These two guys sell small contracts, but they're making millions of dollars doing so because uh, it's the breadcrumbs to, to the big guys are big to people like us, right? Uh, on the way up, which, which makes sense, right? So the average Joe with people that have basically one mil or less, uh, or maybe even less than 100 mil, that's the breadcrumbs we're after here, really. Uh, and that's fine, okay? That is fine. And that's kind of what we're looking for here for the 50-man Lambo race. So we'll see how this progresses. Well, you know my plan, guys. Playing it level by level. Fantastic. Uh, my next big buy is obviously when we hit this this uh, bull market barrier, wherever that may be. Might be a month, might be two months, might be uh, a few months here, right? But uh, obviously, if we're going sideways, going to be trading that. Uh, if we pull back here, I'm going to be taking a big buy wherever this is, okay? Um, and then with that information here you guys can do with what you want with it but again not financial advice blah 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 all that good stuff webinar wednesday if you feel like you've learned or connected with me in this video guys um if you do feel like you've learned easy uh, it's not just because i'm explaining it well it's because you probably uh, have some kind of uh what's the word here what's the word here um it it means that you you can learn easily from me uh, which is something that 
isn't like a rare thing, but you've all like when you went to school, right? There was a teacher that you learned specifically well off of, uh, and that's just because some people learn better off other people. It's not necessarily how well it's been explained, right? So if you feel like you have learned from me, maybe you can commit to trading. Maybe you can. Uh, uh, learn from me pretty easily here, so I would advise you attend the free webinar here tonight, okay? Uh, without further ado here, that's going to be the video. I will see you in the next one. Peace out. Trade safe, okay? Trade safe. Give the video a like if you've made it this far. Massively appreciate it. Leave a comment if you want to enter the giveaway. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out and goodbye. <laughs>